Hey y'all, it's Angie and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is another blind buy unboxing live reaction video. So last month was March. That's my birthday month. So I did a little bit of splurging. I was purchasing things that I saw from YouTubers that I found to be either what I would think would be my type or when they said a certain thing, it was intriguing. So one of them they said it was like the Burberry Her Elixir and I love Burberry Her so I said let me try it out and the other two I don't remember why or which ones they are I've been having these packages for a week or two now and I have not opened it because I wanted to do it live on camera so I'm going to do it live on camera but I will have the receipt or the information on one of these sides of me also um in my last video for the swiss arabian haul i said that i like two of the four scents well they started to wear on me like the nora onyx the oil that they sent me as a free gift i actually liked it it was not as strong as i thought it was once it sat but i did learn from watching some of the lovely ladies on youtube is that some of those scents are supposed to macerate and so I think that's what it's doing. It is settling, I guess, <laughs> so to speak. And it really wore on me. Like I, I kept sniffing the little tester and I started to like it. So I would sniff it daily and I'm just like, oh yeah. So I will put them in order of the ones I like the most. And yeah, I like it. So Casablanca doesn't seem to last very long. It doesn't have a whole lot of lasting power. But the Shag Half for Women and the Shag Half Oud Baid. I don't know how you say it, but they they all started to wear on me. So out of the four, I actually like the four, but the white one, the white and silver, the shag half, abide, it, it's still like number four. It's, it's nowhere near the top, okay? So I just wanted to give that quick update. And then I have the actual things, items right here. I ordered them again from Amazon and I'm going to open them up live on camera. And let's go ahead and get into it so that this video is not very long don't know which one this is again it's not open it's still in the packaging hopefully oh and i have my testers this time and i have my handy dandy scissors so we're gonna get those oh this is the one this is a very large box that's my dog i think he's coming this way oh he's not so this is the one that they say is like a dupe for burberry her elixir and i love burberry her but pause you know how they call everything dupes or their version of when i think of that the first thing i think of is those scents that are usually at like dds ross tj maxx and it's like our version of or our but it's like the american made one so it's basically like scented water because they i doubt that they last long but they've been around for years so i wonder if the middle eastern people look at these the dupes like we look at the dupes like we walk right by them we won't even buy a dupe that we see in those stores and i took a picture or some video of some in the store so that y'all can know what i'm talking about okay so as i'm playing this back i think what i'm trying to say that there's a difference between imitation and dupes so Imitation is like these at City Trends where they are imitating the actual bottle or the look of a designer fragrance. But a dupe is more so the Arabian scents that have a similar smell to a designer brand. The bottle is totally different. They're not trying to look like them. They're not trying to have a similar name. They're totally different in name. They just have similar notes. Like this is supposed to be Carolina Herrera, good girl, you know, with the shoe. That's imitation. But we walk right past those. So I wonder if the people who actually live in the Middle East, if they do the same thing, they walk right past those imitation sense and they go and buy the real thing or they or if you know i don't know i'm not gonna comment on it but this one i am highly highly excited to buy and i hope that i am not disappointed so i'm gonna open this one last now let's get to another one oh it's 
Swiss Arabian. This is Oud. And I think this one is supposed to be a unisex scent. I heard good things about it. I already know the Swiss Arabian brand, so we shall see. I'll open that one as well. And then the last box. They all came from Amazon, but this one says Intense Oud Fragrance from the East. The beginning of something magical. That's interesting that they would have this on here. So let's see. All right, here we go. This one didn't have any type of stuffing or anything, and this one does. So let's see. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is <laughs> Balatafa. <laughs> And this is Ansam. <laughs> uh, I guess all of their, their perfumes are the 100 milliliters. I, I think that's a standard for, because that's it seemingly that's what all of them have been that I've gotten. They've all been 100 milliliters. I don't know why I don't like ripping the plastic all weird and stuff. All right, so this is Latafa. So this is my very first Latafa. And so I don't really know their DNA that well. But this is the... Uh-oh. Okay. Latafa Pride. They have a little booklet with all of the different scents in there. That's cute. This is cute. I think I'm going to have to do a, another display. And this is how it comes. This is cute. Look at this bottle. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is cute. I'm not going to sniff it like I was doing in the last video. I am going to actually spray it. This bottle is cute though. I'm not even going to lie. I forgot that I ordered this one. So let's see. It smells good. Oh, what is this? I forgot what this. Oh, I don't even know if this is supposed to be a dupe for anything, but this smells good. Oh my goodness, this smells good. Ansam Oud. I mean, I'm sorry, Ansam Gold. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I am, I'm glad, I am so glad. And with this, this whole display thing, this is cute, I like this. This is a win. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. This smells so good. I don't know what, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be a do for. I do know I have a scent in my head, but I can't, I can't call it right now. Oh, that smells good. I like that one. So this is the Shag Half Oud by Swiss Arabian. Oh, that one smells so good. And this is just the plain gold bottle. So now I have the silver and white. I have the gold and clear, and now I have the all gold bottle. That's not bad at all. Hmm. It's not bad. This gives me the oil that I have from Shag Half. I'm sorry, from Swiss Arabian. Not a bad blind buy. Yes, this smells like the oil that I already have, but that one was Shag Half Oud Amar, I believe. I like this. I'm two for two, y'all. I am two for two. This bottle is giving, though. This bottle and this bottle, it is giving. It's gonna make my, my little section look, look really cute. Oh, I like it. I like it. Hold on. 
I like that Latafo. And that, that gold, I like it. All right, so this is, let me get my, my stick ready. This is the one that I am most excited for. They better not disappoint. So this is Now Women by Rave. And I think there's a secondary name to this, um, to this, to this company or to this brand or to this line. There's a secondary name. I'm not sure about it. Uh, like if it's Latafa, Kahad, or Kahad Half. Yeah, I'm not sure. Look at this bottle is huge. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god oh my god this is burberry her all day long oh my god i'm so happy i am so happy about this oh my god that is so good that is so good so I want to say that my total purchase for this one was, oh, I have my phone. Hold on. Let's see. I think it was a hundred and something dollars. Let's see. Yes, it was a hundred and something dollars, but only because I had other things on here. So the Swiss Arabian Oud, I paid... Let's see. This was $25.20. This one was $37.06. Let me put this back in this box. It's got to be it. This was $37.06. And then the Women Now, Rave Now, Women Now, this one was $27.49. So I spent almost $100 on these three perfumes and I am going to have to say that I am absolutely overjoyed and satisfied with my blind buy purchases. I just, I cannot get over it. Cannot get over it. <laughs> I'm so happy. So happy. I can, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Like I can get these scents that's going to, well, I'm not going to speak on their lasting power until I actually try them out. But this one I'm most excited by. I love the packaging in the bottle for this one. And then I'm so familiar with this brand. So now I have three in the Shag Half little Oud collection or whatever. So, yeah, I'm so excited with these purchases. I am over the moon and it was highly worth it. They were great birthday gifts for me. So I have no complaints whatsoever. I can't wait to try them on and see how long they last and how well they mesh with my body chemistry. And uh, yeah, ladies, keep making those videos and I'm gonna keep spending my money. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Thanks so much for watching.